simplify the expression. So to do this problem, we're going to try to use this formula. If you have e to the natural log of x, well, that is equal to x. So this is our goal. It'll be to use this formula. So notice it doesn't quite match what we have here. Um, we have a negative here. There's really a negative 1 here. And so what we can do is we can bring this upstairs using what's called the power rule for logarithms. That basically says if you have a number, say, p, in front of your natural log, you can just take this p and bring it up, and this becomes the natural log of x to the p. So here this is e to the natural log of 1 over x, and then this is to the negative 1. Okay, now these cancel, and you just get 1 over x to the negative 1, which basically means you flip the fraction. It's really 1 over 1 over x to the 1, right? You bring it down, and then 1 divided by 1 over x is 1 times x over 1. Whenever you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So we just get x. Works out pretty nice. And you can skip all of this. You can just say this is x if you like. Whatever works. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some math. Good luck to you.